Hello everyone, and welcome to the second devlog for the Unreal Engine version of the Low Poly Shooter Pack. I'm Octavian, I'm the support person, and this is David. He does pretty much everything else. Hey, what up guys? We have a lot of exciting things to share with you on this one, and before we get started, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that like button. Remember people, if we don't hit a billion likes on this video, we will officially quit developing assets and become monks. So make sure you hit that like button. First of all, David, we should probably talk about the Discord server. We made a Discord okay, server last right. month. We, we decided that it would probably be like a really good idea to just make a server where everyone could sort of hang out. I mean, that seemed like a really cool idea. It did. And, uh, you know, also ask questions and, uh, to, you know, talk to the community. Right. A lot of people especially told us that they really wanted to have this one place where we could provide support. And it seemed like the email was kind of inconvenient for some people. So the Discord server just felt like a pretty natural progression, I guess. And it's, I mean, it's also like a faster way to get help, obviously, because we're always online. Right, right. Especially I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm pretty I mean, much always, always online. There, yeah. Like everyone that's in the Discord server currently that's watching this, because uh, we'll probably be spamming this video there, knows that I'm pretty much always responding to questions and random thoughts and cool showcases and whatever you guys are sort of sharing in the Discord server. I'm there. I'm seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> and David's there too sometimes. Yeah, I, I pop in sometimes, you know. I'm mostly working, but, uh, you know, from time to time. He is. You guys, uh, probably, I am. Right. Hey, for anyone that doesn't know, hasn't seen it, I mean, my, my tagline or whatever they call it, like the description on Discord, I have, uh, I'm the support person, and it's it's quite accurate to the, <laughs> the Discord server experience here. I mean, um, among other roles, you know. Among other roles, yeah. Also, if you're if you're interested in the documentation or tutorials about pretty much any of our assets, though currently we only have them for the low poly shooter pack, the Unreal version of it. Like that's what the video is about. <laughs> we you can check them out also in the Discord server. Granted, you do have to be verified, right, David? That's right. Uh, and maybe explain a bit about how to get verified and the process for that. Right. So for anyone that isn't aware, pretty much the first thing that pops up as soon as you join our Discord server is our rules channel and in the rules channel we have this really cool section called verification well i guess it's not really that cool but <laughs> it's there it, it, and I mean, it's uh, pretty cool you know it's kind of fancy with the title cool. we we added some cool images to it <laughs> and it's pretty cool um and this section pretty much uh details how to get verified but to to put it more simply and to put it in words you basically have to leave a review or a question on the unreal engine marketplace and just leave your Discord username. Um, that's pretty much it. And then just let us know. We'll verify you on the Discord server, and you should have access to the channels. Yeah, we'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. All right, David, we'll add a link to the Discord server in the description. But let us also talk about the cool thing that we did in the last update. That being, we moved pretty much everything in the asset to Blueprint. Well, I mean, mostly, didn't we, David? All right, well, I, I think it's pretty much most of the, the code, right? Most of the code was actually indeed moved to Blueprints um, yeah. by popular request. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I've, sure. I've heard, I think a lot of people were asking about this though. Uh, the low poly core plugin that we were using before, we are actually still using it because we haven't managed to move everything to code. We haven't really had, or sorry, to Blueprint. We haven't really had the time to do that just yet, but we are working on it. So. Right it's still there <laughs> and we yeah. had a few people ask david it's, it's actually been a, a little bit of a there's been a little bit of friction on the discord server about it <laughs> um but you know i i think um i think it's definitely something we're we're, I mean, we're, we're definitely we're moving towards blueprint you know so that's a good thing we are yeah we are we're definitely moving yeah. towards it and making sure that we that we get to that point but for now yeah. we're still so, some parts are still in code uh, for anyone that's curious about what parts, uh, it's mostly some damage system stuff, which might be a little annoying for some games, um, especially some people were asking about uh, making a damage component in Blueprint and uh, adding it to AI. That's a little bit complicated right now, but uh, we'll get to it. Yeah, so I mean, as now, always, that's we're trying to just improve it with every update and make it easier to use. Exactly. Yeah, pretty much. But however, yeah. we are probably keeping the low poly core for quite a while around because there are certain things that you can't do in Blueprint. Um, so in the future, there, there may be code specific things like uh, editor windows or um, 
toolbar things or whatever but right, most right. of the important the important stuff is going to be in blueprint right like everyone wanted and uh speaking about blueprints uh let's talk about the new pickups and the inventory system right which is right, new in this David. update that's a really good point we i think we talked about it a little bit on the last devlog but there's some really really cool systems in this one yeah i mean we just kind of glanced over it i mean there's a lot more in this one so there is quite a lot more. I don't exactly remember what we talked about in the last one. I feel like this is a little bit unprofessional. We haven't really looked at it, <laughs> but um, the new stuff in this in this update, really, uh, update 3.0, which you might have noticed because the name changed, haha. Um, you can actually pick up weapons now. You'll see these like really cool uh, UIs that we set up, right, David? Right, right. I mean, we have, so all the showcases are actually pickups now. So there's, you know, no more fading screens, right? You can just pick them up. Right, you can just pick up the weapons and there's absolutely no issue, no more fading. Uh, we know that that was like a really requested thing, no yeah, more fading. Yeah, that was fading. a pretty, pretty annoying thing, so we fixed that. We, we fixed it and we took the time and also decided that you could, you might as well also be able to do a lot of other things. Uh, one of them being swapping the current weapon you're holding for another weapon on the in the world. So as soon as you have too many weapons in your inventory, which currently is around three, you can just swap for another one. Boom, you got it. Right, so it's actually like a, well, it's an inventory system, right? You can pick up guns, you can swap between them and uh, you can drop them. You can drop them, that's right. Yeah, you, can you can actually can also around. drop the weapons, throw just them around. This is actually it, you know, pretty fun. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a stupid feature that I just <laughs> came up with. I was like, oh, what if you just drop them too? I mean, so we just kind of yeah. put it on the on the Z key for anyone that, that wants to know. You can just press Z and drop weapons. Um, yeah. You can't currently drop the last weapon, right, David? We do have reasoning for that, though. Yeah. I mean, and well, the reason being we don't have... There's no hands, like there's no unarmed animations currently. Right. And some people so... might be mad at that because we did show them at one, <laughs> at one point. But um, we yeah. don't currently have them in the asset. Yeah. We will, though, at some point. You know, it's in the plannings. It's definitely in the roadmap and it's definitely in yeah. the things that we want to do. I mean, um, that would also be really, another really cool to have that is true also another really cool thing that we really kind of just came upon and it just seems funny um we noticed that we had these like cool weapons on the npcs or the ai or whatever you want to call it they don't really do much well it's the characters um, just kind of chilling in the map characters currently. <laughs> just playing yeah, animation the, the, the map the dudes just hanging around we had them here and we thought hey it might as well also be able to pick up the weapons on them and so that that's also a, a thing in this update um, yeah, so there's so, a lot of well you can actually steal weapons now that's pretty cool and another yeah. really cool thing and i think i mentioned a little bit before we did set up this really cool ui which i'm pretty sure we didn't show in the right in the we last haven't shown that before. man that's also we a really thing we really <laughs> we have this cool e icon that's <laughs> probably like the highlight of the update you know cu custom made e icon you know custom made button icon <laughs> we we really wanted that icon there so really we got out, it you know we went all out with the button and then obviously also we have the the weapon icon which replicates exactly um what the weapons attachments are so there's a full widget for that and you can right. check that out so right. every time you you look at a weapon it actually says the name and it also shows the icon so it's very obvious which one it is yeah yeah and another cool part of the latest update is that all of the animations are actually now mannequin supported so you can That's actually right, use David. any model from the store and it should just work out of the box. That's true. This is actually one of those cool things that people have been asking for for oh, so yeah. I mean, long. This, this has been a, one of those main features people have been asking about for like, I mean, pretty much the whole time. Yeah. And so it's finally here. It, it is finally here. We, we <laughs> really wanted to make a big splash with this mannequin update. And I think everyone's really been enjoying it up to now. Um, so yeah, we, we wanted, so. obviously also put it in the devlog so everyone that's not uh not really familiar with the newest update but maybe has seen the asset previously um and might have thought that it's not really that cool because hey it's not a rigged to mannequin it is now <laughs> yep now it is and i think in, we mentioned yeah. it very quickly in the last devlog but it was just well it was in the pro process of being made back then but now it's uh, actually completed all retarget now there's yeah. absolutely no all, issues all the you animations want to and all the characters too right so any any first person or third person animations 
all of them you can retarget to any other character that is mannequin rigged so do make sure that that is a thing <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> also some people have tried retargeting our skeleton to or, or the animations to other skeletons uh, our suggested workflow with that is more retargeting to our skeleton um because we have a bunch of like curve setups and a bunch of things like that so it may not right, work as right. properly you can make it work though it's not uh yeah specific i mean but you can it, definitely it use it it's just yeah it's easier if you it's based on our systems since that's kind of what we made it for yeah so it's it's certainly a lot easier also yeah. another thing that we probably should talk about is that we change the root of the animations especially the first person ones right david right well, why do we do that it's... Well, I mean, the reason for that is the the camera location, right? Because uh, right. before this, we kind of we had to like manually align it with the camera, and yep. you know the result the results weren't always perfect. Perfect, um, right, 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 right. But now it's actually yes. perfectly aligned. Right. By we especially had a bunch of issues trying to get the animations to look as they look in Blender, because our um, character setup is a specific way, and it doesn't really lend itself to the camera being placed in well in the camera animation location yeah. um so we decided to move the root of the whole character uh mesh to the camera and now it's very easy to place it you can just place it under a camera and it'll just always have everything aligned and in position as it looks in blender it will be so perfect, the animation yeah. will look perfect yeah and, and the aim positions will look great and as a side note this is only for the first person obviously the third person is still the root is at the feet obviously so that's still right works. Right. That's so exactly. for those, yeah. you're going to have it normal. Um, we might, if, if a lot of people ask about it, we might add like a non root version into the asset too. Uh, right, but for right. now, this looks very, very good with our setups and it seems to work very well. It works um, very well, actually. Yeah. And as an extra little spice on this whole mannequin update, we actually decided to completely improve the character and the arms, especially. So now we have, you know, brand new set of arms looking pretty cool brand new set of arms which <laughs> actually use all the camels just like before and they yeah. look really a lot cooler than the, than the other ones so it's it's basically uh, just an improved hand model you know same materials as uh, the old one but they just look way better do it's kind of like the fourth iteration that david's done on these and these ones are finally a little rounder <laughs> it's, it's finally getting to the round yeah <laughs> round fingers you know um, getting to the I mean, round edition I think we're all getting pretty tired of the, the cubic hands, I'm gonna be honest. Especially me. <laughs> that said, David, we do still have the cubic hands in the we asset. Do. They're still in there. So if someone really, likes them, really you know, like them, go ahead and use them. They're still in there. Yeah, for anyone that really like them or if if you were using them for your game or anything like that, they are still in, so it won't cause any problems. We're we kinda learned from our past mistakes of removing oh, yeah. things. Oh, yeah. Um I mean, but, uh, they, they do look slightly different because, well, with the mannequin conversion, the, the posing is a, b a bit different. So they they, you right. know, they might not look exactly the same as, as before, but it's still the same, right. the same model. Practically. This kind of, yeah, pretty much the same thing. I mean, it's slightly different, but it's around the same thing. Um, yeah. And uh, we did have to, you might notice, but these hands actually, like even the, the new ones, both the new ones and the old ones, do look slightly different and the characters, like the proportions of them are different. That's true. And there's That's a reason true. for it, isn't it, David? Well, there is, because since we had to match them to the mannequin, and the mannequin is very specific, it has a, kind of like a specific body type, right? So we kind of have right. to match, match the characters to that, the silhouette. Has you know, this, the over, has yeah, this the big over. macho man a body <laughs> type. <laughs> <laughs> big chest really really tiny it everything else a bit, a bit more um, macho you know yeah so every character is now a lot a lot more macho um along with that we kind of had to change the backpacks a little bit and all that to, to fit yeah, right it, it, it's all in the mannequin style now it's all so that means everything is going to work out properly as long as you have a character that is That's mannequin true. rigged and kind of mannequin match, shape uh, pretty good would be pretty good um not yeah. only that but along with this new hand change what came along with it is as you might have noticed we have these cool gloves and these arms right and we had this really really cool plan plan david man we had a really <laughs> cool plan we do we have this awesome plan 
to separate the arm models from the hand models and actually add a bunch of variations of them. Right. Like we have right. some variations, like what kind of variations were we thinking? Well, I think we talked about, you know, having different gloves, different arms, obviously, like maybe a jacket, um, something like that, maybe some straps, you know, some cool stuff. Right, and, right, right. Like a lot of variation on them. Right, right. So uh, in the coming versions, that's probably going to be a thing, you know, custom uh, gloves and custom arms. You can just kind of swap them out. Yeah, you guys really have a lot to look <laughs> forward to in terms of custom versions. Um, I, think, I think that's going to be really cool. I think it's going to be really cool. We're really, really excited to see it, and I hope you are too. All right, people, that was it for this one. Stay tuned for more devlogs and cool content. And in the meantime, you can check out some of our other videos. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Also, bear in mind, if you're still here and you have not liked the video, I will personally come fight you. Do that. Peace.